Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the spotlight session. session. Um, today, we're going to be, be talking about boosting retail and FMCG uh, sales with points of interest data. Uh, today, we will be using um, the data appeal company data uh, to make this spatial anal analysis. Uh, so I'm going to show um, the uh, the demo I have prepared for you. Uh, so basically, um, let's imagine I am a business development director of an MCG, FMCG company. We have launched uh, this new ice cream brand that we want to sell in the stop uh, locations. Uh, as I have other products, I already know what my top locations are. Uh, look like, uh, what are the variables that define a top location. So um, we have defined an area where we want to start selling this new uh, uh, ice cream brand, which is Rome in this case, uh, and we will be conducting the analysis in this specific area. So um, first we have the, defined the area, you can see a line. Um, so uh, we're going to be using only the points of interest that are inside this area. Um, after that, um, we have um, defined the criteria for what uh, variables are uh, the variables that define a top performer and a top uh, location. Uh, so the first one is the popularity, um, which means how popular this uh, point of interest is in terms of footfall, how many people enter this place. And the second variable that define uh, um, um, top performer would be the sentiment. Uh, what does exactly uh, sentiment mean in, in, in the case of points of interest? Well, it means uh, whether the comments, the people that visited the place uh, are positive or negative. Um, and how do we know that? Uh, how does data appeal company knows uh, if the uh, um, the comments and reviews are positive or negative because they gather all the information uh, and all the reviews and comments uh, the place gets from different websites such as Google reviews, such as TripAdvisor and many others, uh, Foursquare, um, any um, any website that allows uh, the like the the review of a of a place, um, and they define based on. Um, based on some criteria, whether the comments are mostly um, positive or mostly negative or just neutral. Uh, so those two uh, variables will define the top performer. So the highest the popularity and the highest the sentiment, the most uh, successful point of interest will be. And the most likely me as a, a business development director of this company, I will be looking at that place to sell my new ice cream brand. Uh, so basically, um, we have, um, excuse me, uh, we have uh, selected um, uh, the, 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 um, the points of interest within the Rome area, uh, basically based on um, the criteria that I just named, uh, sentiment and footfall, we have defined a similarity skill score joined. Um, so uh, you will always also find the name of the point of interest of, of the location of the store. Um, and uh, based on these two criteria, we will find the similarity skill. So the highest the similarity skill score is the, um, the, the most likely I will be to try to sell my new ice cream brand. So basically, uh, we have also defined uh, the, the tween areas. So if we look at these two uh, layers combined, what I will want is to look at the yellow dots, the bigger and the 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 more yellow dots, uh, because the bigger dot, uh, the, 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 the more similar the score will be. Uh, and the more yellow the, the dot is, the, the better, the, the, the higher uh, performer the, the point of interest is. Um, but also the area needs to be very similar 
to what uh, what uh, the successful areas um, uh, that I am looking for are. So all the very dark red areas will be interesting for this analysis. I will be looking at those areas. So the more yellow dots and the darker uh, uh, red areas, uh, the better to look for a new place uh, for, for uh, uh, places to sell my my new ice cream brand. So based on I'm going to uh, stay with the uh, locations uh, layer and I'm going to open um, the list of points of interest. Um, basically, what I want at the moment, because I am in a very preliminary preliminary stage of this new ice cream brand, I want to just select the five top performing uh, locations. So those uh, these uh, POIs are uh, ordered by the highest score. So I'm just going to select the five top ones. So San Pietrino Cafe, Melograno, Cheers, Gastro Chibo e Cafe, Pizzeria Farina Crocante. Those will be uh, the top performers based on this analysis. So basically, I will stick to these five ones. Uh, so I'm going to apply my selection and I'm going to see in the map the points of this analysis. So if I go and click on the points, I will find the information that uh, I have defined as a top performing um, points of interest. So one is, as I mentioned before, Gastro Chibo e Café. The other one is Gastro Chibo e Café. And the other one, sorry, is Cheers. And on the left, there were a few more points of interest close to the Vatican City. So as you can see, all of the points of interest are in the center of Rome. Uh, sorry, this is the neighborhood. So here is Melograno. And the other one is San Pietrino Cafe. So um, basically, this is the analysis uh, we have put together to uh, just to show you how simple it is to um, to perform uh, um, uh, locations uh, uh, scoring locations uh, analytics case. Um, it is simple, but uh, it is uh, based on uh, real data and on uh, well people, people's uh, feelings and people's uh, real interest, popularity, sentiment, etc. So it's really something that uh, I think is very valuable for FMCG brands, uh, the FMCG companies that will uh, use this data to decide where to sell their products. They will be basing uh, their business decisions. Uh, in um, in uh, real data and in very useful insights uh, coming directly from uh, from people from from users from from uh, consumers, which I think is very uh, enriching. Um, and of course, um, all the uh, business decisions based on data are um, less uh, risky. Uh, so um, I think um, spatial analytics for uh, FMCG sales is very interesting and 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 very uh, promising. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this short uh, and brief analysis uh, and please feel free to, um, to send as many questions as you want after this, uh, after this session. Thank you.